so this question is definitely a simplified question. We know that because it's short, right? It's only a little bit over a line long and because we're provided this expression here. So with this expression, we're being tested on our memory or our understanding of how to deal with exponents. So, and also order of operations. So what I'm gonna do here is deal with the parentheses portion first. So this y to the 3 fourths, and I'll just rewrite it. y to the 3 fourths to the 3 halves. So whenever you have a power, right, 3 fourths, raised to another power, 3 halves, you multiply the two exponents together. So this is going to become y to the 9 eighths. Okay, so that simplifies this entire thing. But of course, I still have the y to the 1 eighth. So I have y to the 1 eighth now times y to the 9 eighths. Now, whenever you have the same base, in this case y, and you're multiplying, and you have exponents, right, 1 eighth and 9 eighths, you add the exponents together. So this is going to become y to the 10 eighths, right, 1 eighth plus 9 eighths is 10 eighths. But I can reduce that fraction. So instead of 10 eighths, I can rewrite that as 5 fourths. Right, which is, in essence, I just divide it both top and bottom by 2. So I have y to the 5 fourths. So y to the 5 fourths is the most simplified version of our answer here. Now, looking at my answer choices, I see that I need to do one more conversion, and that is to convert from exponential form or exponent form into uh, radical form. So the way that I do that is I take my base, which is y, right? And then I say, okay, what type of power? What I have, or what type of radical, I'm sorry, will I have? It's always going to be the same as the denominator. So this is going to be a fourth root. Okay? And then the numerator just stays on as a power. So this would be fifth power. So our answer is a fourth root of y to the fifth power, and therefore the answer is choice A.